Senator, President Biden's campaign just launched a seven-figure ad buy there in Arizona focused on abortion rights. Let's play a part of that. Because of Donald Trump, millions of women lost the fundamental freedom to control their own bodies. And now women's lives are in danger because of that. The question is, if Donald Trump gets back in power, what freedom will you lose next? Your body and your decisions belong to you, not the government, not Donald Trump. I will fight like hell to get your freedom back. Senator, what do you make of the Biden campaign strategy? Well, I think it's smart. Um, I think it's very important that they keep this issue on the front burner because it motivates. The Republican Party has gone to a very extreme place. And I think the thing that's most frustrating to me, Anna, about the Arizona story is it's interesting to people and infuriating to people because this was a law that originally was put on the books in the 1800s. It was codified, however, in, in 1901, I think. But you know what? That law is identical to the law in Missouri. Wow. And just a few months ago, the Republicans in the Missouri Senate voted to deny a rape and incest exception. So this is not the Republican Party of the 1800s. This is the Republican Party of right now. And this is what Donald Trump is embracing. He should know that the law in Arizona that everyone's going crazy about is the law in other states, complete bans with a very limited exception for the life of the mother with all kinds of hoops you have to jump through to get to that exception. And, and he's, he's doing nothing. And the Republicans are doing nothing. So it is, it is infuriating what happened in Arizona. But that, in, that anger needs to spread across the entire country because Donald Trump did this 100%. We just showed that map with how many states have the most restrictive abortion bans on the books right now. Brendan, Donald Trump keeps changing his message on the abortion issue. He is now saying that the Arizona abortion decision went too far. That's after he said on Monday that this issue is for each state to decide. If the head of the party is so inconsistent and all over the map, no pun intended, what does that mean for the rest of the party? Yeah. I mean, leaving this up to the states is obviously what has happened uh, since the Dobbs decision, it, it is what has contributed to Republicans getting absolutely hammered on this issue. Uh, we know that Donald Trump has been wrestling privately with what his position is going to end up being, and he ultimately didn't take one. And I think that tells you everything you need to know. There isn't a safe position for Republicans to take on this. It just doesn't exist. Uh, whether, you know, we, we're, we're seeing uh, what's happening when you leave it up to the states. But if you were to come out with something um, that potentially would play better in a general election, you'll get hammered by the right. Um, he, he chose to uh, avoid the issue entirely, but he's going to continue to be left up to the mercy of state legislatures and state Supreme Courts. And every week, you're probably going to see something new like mm. this popping up. And as long as this issue continues to dominate, it's an advantage to his opponent. Let's take a look at this Fox News poll from just last month. 39 percent of Arizona voters said abortion would be extremely important in deciding their vote for president. Another 32 percent said it would be very important. Senator, you have experience of running against an opponent who made controversial remarks about abortion, and you won. How much could this hurt Republican Carrie Lake's Senate campaign there in Arizona? Well, she's got a special problem in that she's such a liar. Um, you know, she is really trying to emulate the boss and see if she can lie all the time. I mean, what was really rich was her trying to pretend that she didn't embrace this law specifically just two years ago when she was running for governor. Um, she embraced this law specifically. She referred to it and said, we have a great law in the books. And they tried to say, oh, she wasn't referring to that law. She named it by number, the specific law that now is, in fact, the law of Arizona. And I just wonder how dumb she thinks the voters of Arizona actually are, that they aren't paying attention, that she said this was a great law 10 minutes ago, and now she's acting like it's not a great law. That won't work. As we say in the Ozarks, that dog won't hunt. And I think she's in real trouble in terms of the extreme position she's taken on voters being able to have their say at the ballot box and now on this very important topic of women's reproductive freedom. And in fact, she just 
announced on X that she will be putting out a new video statement about her stance on abortion sometime today. We'll be watching social media for that. Brendan, any one state can be the focus of any given issue at any time. We know later today, Iowa's Supreme Court hears arguments about a near total abortion ban there. But if you're not in Iowa, if you're not in Arizona, will Republican candidates in every state be asked to answer for these policies? Yeah, I think they will, because it's going to be a front and center issue in the presidential election. And, and look, Donald Trump lost uh, last time for a number of reasons. But if you want to pick one primary, it's uh, suburban women who have rejected uh, the Republican position on abortion for a long time. And as long as this is, continues to be front and center, everybody is going to have to talk about it. And I don't think the Republican Party is really going to get out of this until voters uh, save them from themselves by by putting these things on the ballot and and taking away uh, some of these positions. So um, yeah, this is this is going to be nationalized. And Democrats are not dumb; they're going to find ways to put it uh, on on the ballot. And in Arizona, that's a state that Donald Trump probably has to win. And if that and if abortion is on the ballot. Um, it, it is not good for, for Donald Trump there. And let's just focus in on Arizona for another moment because it's such a pivotal state when you look at the electoral map, not only because of this abortion issue and its impact, but it's really setting up to be, you know, the center of multiple 2024 fights. The border politics, obviously another major issue. Arizona has a huge Latino population. It also has the nation's biggest battleground county, Maricopa County, which is a former Republican stronghold. More than two million people voted in Maricopa County in 2020. Biden narrowly won there. Other counties are getting more conservative. Senator, does the winner in Arizona win the country? Maybe. Uh, and I will tell you this, the winner of the U.S. Senate race probably decides who controls the United States Senate. Uh, it is an incredibly important state. There are other states that I could argue are as important, but none that are more important. Uh, the Electoral College votes there are essential to Donald Trump. I don't think he can win without it. And frankly, you know, he's got folks running for governor and for Senate in the, some of these states that are important that are really baggage for him. Um, I, I think Carrie Lake is baggage for him in Arizona, and her trying to flip-flop on this issue isn't going to work. You know what people are suspicious of? They're very suspicious of people who flip on a fundamental issue like this. Because you know what that means? They're political hacks. They're looking for votes and don't have any principles. Former Senator Claire McCaskill and Brendan Buck, I appreciate your thoughts and uh, your insights. Thank you. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.